Hello everyone, just getting my coffee and I'm about to go to my cozy corner and relax for just a few minutes before my morning really gets off to a busy start. So this is my cozy corner section, my landing, my second floor landing. It's my cozy corner section and I like to hang out here sometimes. You can see my stack of magazines that I have yet to get to. I promised myself um, sometime this coming week or maybe next week, I would take like a good hour and just sit down, not be interrupted, put everybody on alert. that um, I am going to be relaxing, interruption free from kids and nephews, son for yous, all kinds of stuff. That was a little girl waving hello. I guess I'll let her pop on when she finishes her classes. I had to shoo her away. But yeah, let me go ahead and sit down and get myself relaxed and we'll have a little chat and I'll tell you the plan for today. Let me turn this around. Okay, hi guys. It's me again. So yes, um, I am trying to do this with one hand. I am, I left my tripod downstairs and I'm just not going to go get it. I'm just gonna hopefully not shake too much, but your girl is over 40, so. <laughs> and I have my coffee in the other hand so we'll see how this goes but yes as I was saying I'm in my cozy corner and um, I do like to come sit here ever since we moved this out of our bedroom we may get rid of it I'm not sure you know what I really need a little table I have nowhere to sit my coffee. Let me drink it down a little more before I have an accident. Very, very carefully sit it on the rug. <laughs> but yes, so, that's the little girl's door. And she has her little stocking and her little snowman calendar that she moves to candy cane every day. But she's late, okay? It's still on the 5th. We are at the 8th. So I have to remind her, she has to move the calendar. We have one in our kitchen, and then this one, it moves around the house every year. I find a different place, but lately I have been putting it either in her space, somewhere in her space, the basement or kitchen, or now on her door. I think this is the second year it's been on her door um, so she can keep track of the days, not that she needs any help <laughs> because she has a birthday coming up plus Christmas and that is a running joke in our family that when I was carrying her she was supposed to be born February the 5th and um, that was her projected date that I was supposed to give birth to birth to her and um, she came December 17th so y'all go figure that out <laughs> but um she heard all the hustle and the bustle because while I was carrying her, we were still busy as usual. I wasn't one of those chicks that's like, oh, I can't do anything. No, I could do do it all. I worked up until the day they admitted me into the hospital. Um, and she overheard us talking about all this Christmas and shopping and gifts. So I guess she said, well, wait a minute. I need to to be born in 2010. I, I can't cross over to 2011 and have to wait a whole another year. So girlfriend made her debut a week before Christmas. And it was so funny. One day I'll give my full testimony of just God is amazing. So anybody out there who is um, down, who is wavering in their faith, who is growing weary in your weight, you have, renew your strength, renew your strength in the Lord because God's promises are yea and amen. And if God gives you a promise 
you will sometimes feel like you are crazy. You're going to be the only one sometimes still clinging on to that promise. People will start out with you believing something that God said he told you, and they're going to fall off. But you are the one that's charged to keep the faith. You are the one that's going to be commissioned to cling on to it with everything you have, no matter what others are doing. And it was times where I felt like I was by myself. Um, even my down to my husband, sometimes, you know, I remember we had a conversation and he had to um, console me. He just was like, well, I married you to have a life with you. Children are added blessings. So if God never gives us children, that's fine. We'll adopt, we'll do whatever. So we started trying to venture off into our plan, you know, um, B and C's. And that wasn't the case. So um, there were many a times where I told the Lord, Lord, I'm not, I'm not this super spiritual person levitating. I'm so deep that I've given Jesus a track. And you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm one of them everyday chicks. I, I, I love the Lord. I live right. I, you know, I fell. We all fell, fall short. Um, but I love the Lord. And I, I strive to please the Lord daily. I don't run to sin. I try to run away from it. But when I fall, I repent and I try to get back up in the saddle and keep it moving. So when I knew that God showed me my promise and um, when I had the promise from the Lord and I just, I saw myself pregnant, I saw the belly and everything. I even smelled my baby. Now that's getting a little deep, but spiritually, well, physically it manifested, but I physically smelled her. Um, at the time I thought it was a boy. Um, or I, at the time I thought I would have a boy, but thank the Lord, it was a little girl, so cute. Um, but yes, so I um, knew what God showed me. So getting back to having to hold on to your promise, I, I knew God, I said, Lord, I'm not crazy. I know, okay, well, and then you start questioning yourself. Well, maybe it was me more than him. Maybe this was my will and not God's will and things of that nature, okay. So that's why you really have to develop and cultivate your relationship with the Lord um, so you can have an assurance. So I had to stand fast with all the feelings and all of the doubts and all the evil reports that would come back to me and my husband. So when, um, you know, we got pregnant, we were elated. But um, it just goes to show you that you have to, those who are out there that I'm talking to that has a promise that has yet not manifested, you have to resuscitate yourself and breathe life in your faith again concerning that thing because it's not going to die. If you abort it, it's going to be by your hands, not by God's hands. But we have to be patient in our wait and we um, have to um develop ourselves and I wait so that's all I'm saying I, I sometimes ramble but I just want to encourage somebody to just wait so I said all of that to say like the little girl she um came a week I think a week and a day before Christmas just 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 yep eight days and um she she came eight days prior to Christmas and um you know, that was the best present ever. And I knew that after it all happened, because when I went into, you know, premature uh, birth, I never thought that um, that would happen. That wasn't a part of my plan. <laughs> that was not a part of my plan. I had it all planned out. I was praying for supernatural childbirth. And, oh, Lord, I don't want to feel my contractions too, too much. But, you know, if that's what it's going to be, and I had this all planned out. I had her outfits and everything. Once we realized she was a girl, um, I had outfits for her and things of that nature. And then when she was a little preemie, you know, that was another twist in the plan. But in that, God's hand was on everything. She was healthy. She, um, although she was under five pounds, she was healthy. She passed all of her tests. All of that, like God's hand was on her. So just be, just be encouraged today. Just be encouraged today. Uh, resuscitate and grab hold for those who put down 
kept their promise. Pick it back up. Pick it back up. Grab hold of it because it's not done yet. I am a true testament. I'm real. I think I am. I don't have nothing fake. <laughs> nothing, nothing fake. So um, I went through it myself. So I know God is real. I know he knows who I am. He physically knows who I am. It just boggles my mind. But anyway, yes, that's all I want to say is to just be encouraged and pick back up your promise. Pick it back up. Dust it off. Put it back in your your pocket next to your heart somewhere. Just put, pick it back up. So, yeah. So, this Christmas is underway at the Curry Manor. And I need to um, return. Speaking of Christmas, I have to go back because I brought some family pajamas. And I brought these in November. And um, I brought them in November. I'm checking on my coffee. And um, I kept saying, hold on, let me grab my coffee. So I kept saying, um, when I looked at the sizes on the um, computer, I was saying that it was wrong and it said adult adult pajamas but then when I went to click on the family pajamas in order for every family member um, they gave me the size of a child but it kept saying adult so I'm like mm, you know I was just very hesitant I was hesitant as I um, was, you know, as I ordered, uh, I ordered hubbies, I ordered mine. And then when I got to the little ladies, I kept clicking for children's sizes and it just kept sending me back. So I don't know if it was just sold out and it just automatically defaulted, but that's not really supposed to happen, especially in all of my shopping experiences. That's not what's supposed to happen. But um, anyway, so I was just wishing, hoping, you know, hoping a prayer wishing that, okay, they'll still send me the size 10 in girls' PJs, but they didn't. They went ahead and sent me a um, a large, like a 10, 12, I guess, in adults. So the Holy Spirit told me that it, something was wrong, but I went ahead anyway against my better judgment and against the, the uh, prompting of the Holy Spirit. Um, and I went ahead and ordered them. So now I have to brave the mall and go and exchange them. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and do that today. And I did um, take advantage of the candle cell. Who, who took advantage of the be, the Bath and Body Works candle cell? Let me know. It sold out online real fast. But um, I, I did go online. And when I went online, they were, you know, they had plenty. I put all these candles in my basket, and then I started seeing two and three hundred dollars. I was like, "Ooh, mm -mm, that's just a wish list. <laughs> that was just a wish list." Sometimes I shop. Now, who does this? I will virtually shop, put things in my basket, knowing with the knowing that I'm not going to buy them right away. And sometimes I never even get to buy certain things. But I'll do that like on Amazon. I'll do that on all my sites that I like to go to, and I'll just go through the motions of shopping without actually shopping. I know I'm not the only one that does that. You can't tell me that I'm the only one. So comment below if you do that as well. So, and sometimes just a wish list. I will put things on my wish list. Like I have a wish list on Amazon, things of that nature. So yeah, Blooms and Sonoma, the container store, all those favorite stores of mine. So I did that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go brave the mall again because the sun the sun few or um nep son i guess you could say because he's my nephew first and my son like i'm the what am i the fourth yeah i'm the fourth mother removed from him <laughs> it's my sister's child but i'm the youngest of four daughters so yeah 
So we went the other day to get some candles and I picked up five. So that was good. So I, I might show you guys later, but uh, more they are different scents. They are different scents, but I was, y'all know I was excited about my candles. So my little collection is growing. I'm excited about that it is growing and I am excited. So yes, let me sip on this coffee. Okay, I'm going to take you guys with me. I have chatted y'all ears off. I'm looking at my time. And we will just brave them all together. How about that? Okay, I will see you at the mall. Okay, guys, I have made it to the mall. So I'm going to go in. Let me make sure I grab my bag. And then my hubby called and put me on a mission. So I have an extra mission to look for a red sweater for the little lady. Because I have a red sweater. We're taking our pictures um, at the home again this year. And he wants to um, do red sweaters with jeans, blue jeans. So I told him while I'm out, I'm going to go ahead and look for it. So all right, guys, come on, let's go. All right, so... I'm going to Target now. To look for hot dog rolls. They didn't have the pajamas. So, um, oh, wait a minute, here's the rolls. They didn't have them, so um, I'm gonna have to, I guess, either order them or order them from somewhere else or not have them this year, which will suck. But I'm gonna find these pajamas. Maybe I'll go to Kohl's. But yeah, so let's get some hot dog rolls. Maybe I'll walk into Macy's. I just didn't feel like all of this today, but we'll see. Let me grab some hot dog rolls and then I went to Gap and got her a red sweater. I had to get her a red sweater so we can do these pictures either tomorrow or um, Thursday. But okay, I'll check back in later. Get that for me. <laughs> and I would be filming as, as I knocked over the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was going to clean it up. Okay, so this is. These are all the stuff. Okay. Alrighty. 
the kangaroo and the luggage. Okay. okay, so I was able to get the PJs. They're not as Christmassy as I would like them to be, but they are Christmas PJs. As I am walking through this mall, it is taking all of my willpower and strength and restraint to not go crazy in this store and to just stay focused on the task at hand. But I got my mission accomplished and I'm feeling good. Okay guys, so I made it back to the car. Excuse the lighting, it is dark out now it's just it's like dusk so um, I'm about to go home um, but I did stop and get the little lady some orange chicken and noodles at the mall because those are her favorites and she didn't have she hasn't had them in a minute so I'm going to try to back out of here and get us home okay let's do it Yeah, the mall was not crowded today. It was not crowded at all. Yeah, so I was able to get a full refund for the PJs that I previously purchased. Um, at children's place and unfortunately they didn't have um any matching sets in our sizes which i knew that would be a long stretch i just knew that um you know that it would have been divine intervention had i been able to get my hands on a matching set but um i did go to macy's and I was able to get my hands on something. It's not the thing I desired, desired, but it will do and it's different. So, you know, because we've been doing this for quite some time now and we have about every type of color known to man. So this will just add to our repertoire for pajamas as far as pajamas go. But okay, guys, because this lighting sucks, I'm going to wait until we get home. I'll see you then. I made it back home, and I want to show you what um, I purchased. So let me flip this camera around and show you what I bought from Macy's. Okay, so this is what I picked up from Macy's is the family PJs and it's this gray fleece and they um it's it's a hooded one piece PJ and I got the hubby extra extra large I purchased me the small and then I got the little lady uh, extra small but it's still in the woman's size but given that she's almost my height she really is she's more than half my size um, I'm going to wash these and dry them and hopefully I guess about time I wash them and dry them um, she'll be able to grow into them it shouldn't be too too big that's Kendall whining in the background but yes um, so yeah I will film us in them when the time comes all right guys so that was a successful trip to the mall